it's Sam. So today I'm going to be reviewing the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Buildable Luminous Foundation. Let's talk about the packaging right off the bat. Look how gorgeous that is. It's rose gold, guys. I mean, can you get any cuter? It's just a nice little compact right to y'all. That's what it looks like. And then it has that really gorgeous, like, just shiny rose gold on the front. I like the little design of the sticker. The stickers uh, represent the color that you are getting, so they get darker and lighter with the color that you're, you're um, having. I have the color N3.5. Hopefully, this is the one. It comes with this little sponge, but nah, I don't think I want to do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Beauty Blender. So that is what it looks like on the inside. So it's just kind of like a little sponge with product in it. So let's give it a go. Hopefully this color will be good. I'm just bouncing it in there. Seems like a lot of product comes out when you bounce it. We shall see. I think this color might even be too light. I'm gonna take a look here. I just recently self-tanned, so. I feel like one pat in that thing, or I mean, you know that I bounced it a couple times, but it got a lot of product. Like there is still tons of product left in my beauty blender. So it seems like a little bit goes quite a long way. This color is definitely a little bit light for me, but I feel like once I bronze everything up, I will be okay. So you can see one, like one little doink 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 uh, covered my whole entire face. There was no need to, to tap back into the thing. And it's actually surprisingly a pretty good coverage. I mean, my skin's not terrible right now, but I was expecting it to be really, really sheer and it's covered everything that I need to cover. The only thing I'm noticing is that it is really dewy. Like, I mean, obviously this is a Lumi cushion, so it's for luminous skin, but sometimes I think there's a difference between luminous and just plain old like greasy. Like this to me is looking pretty dilly dang greasy for sure. <laughs> like I look like I have Vaseline on my face, but if you're really, really dry, you might like that. So I just want to see what these other colors are just to see. I have an N.5. The color of the actual sticker is like, so like you can tell this one is lighter and this one is darker. So I think that's kind of cool that like they have that so that you guys, you can kind of tell. Okay, so let's see, that one's pretty dark. Hmm. I'm just gonna get a little bit of the N.5 and just see what the difference is on the color. It's not even that much darker, it just has more of a kind of like yellowish tone. So you can see it's really not a whole lot darker, it just has a tiny bit more of a yellow undertone to it. So it ended up kind of matching my self tanner a little bit more. But um, it is very, very dewy, guys. This is like a dewy foundation. So when I go to touch, ooh, it feels dewy. I mean, like overall, it is just straight up dewiness. Like it feels wet on your skin. And I'm like trying to see if it ever stops. <laughs> and we can't stop. So on my forehead, it is kind of dried a little bit. It doesn't feel quite as dewy but you can feel it on the skin, guys. Like, it is it is definitely a kind of wettish formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup with my powder. I feel like if you are oily, I don't even think this is gonna work. We'll see, we'll see throughout the day. But you're definitely gonna wanna set this. Now, if you're really dry and you're like, oh my gosh, my, my, my skin is quenching for thirst, and you do want that really kind of like dewy, like, oh, I'm Jennifer Lopez and I'm so hot and sweaty, you probably will love this. But I'm gonna finish off. We'll see how everything goes on afterwards and see if I can get that kind of wet feeling to be off of my face because I am not particularly a fan of that simply because I have wet skin anyway. <laughs> I'm always oily. So I shall be back. Okay guys, I just, it's 11.37. We just worked out. So this makeup has been on now for two hours and 15 minutes. Let's take a look. My greasy babe. Yeah. Oh, I'm not super greasy.
messy guys I'm actually just kind of like I have a nice glow to me but I don't look super oily so if you guys can tell the sun is like blasting me right now but it's actually I was expecting to come out with like Vaseline face but I just look kind of glowy so so far two hours in it's actually okay with oily skin so I will check up in a few hours and we'll see what's going on. So it is now three o'clock and you guys can probably see how greasy my face is. It literally looks like I've dunked my face in a little bit of Vaseline. Um, and I also noticed that this does kind of oxidize just a little bit. I noticed that I'm a little bit tanner uh, than I was before. Although I will say it hasn't broken apart anywhere. Like it's done pretty great in my wrinkles. Um, I'm just very, very oily. Okay guys, what time is it, Denny? 7.30. It is 7.30. I just wanted to give you guys my final update for the day. So I need to kind of get into a camera or a mirror, I think. Basically, I have had to rice paper today or blot, whatever you guys want to call them, um, because I was really, really oily. Um, right now, you can probably see the grease collecting right here, and it's kind of made the makeup look a little heavier right underneath the eye. If you can tell the forehead is very greasy but it has not settled into my wrinkles at all um, I'm not super keen on this concealer that I've been using anyway so that could be the reason but it is definitely oily and then my cheeks are definitely a little oily my chin has pretty much worn off for the most part okie dokie guys it is now almost nine so my makeup has been on for a total of 12 hours I would definitely say this foundation is not gonna be for someone who has acne prone or oily skin while I think it is done really well considering this is a luminous foundation with a very dewy finish, um, just don't buy it if you're oily or acne prone. It's just not going to be the foundation for you. I am impressed with the way it has lasted. I will say that. Um, it's. I mean, I have a little bit of like makeup that's kind of worn off, but I went to the gym today. It's been on for 12 hours. My forehead, even though it's greasy, looks really really um like nice in the wrinkles so this is going to be a great foundation for someone who has dry skin or um or fine lines or wrinkles and doesn't want anything to settle into the fine lines or wrinkles because as you can see like it is not settling in there whatsoever it's very oily like i'm super greasy but my wrinkles look fake great i will say when i was putting my powder on afterwards it did do a little bit of uh, kind of movement because it is such a wet foundation that you have to be very careful when you're putting, you're applying your powders afterwards because it can kind of um, disturb the foundation underneath, which is not my favorite thing. But like I said, if you're gonna go for the dewy look, you're probably not gonna set with powder. I mean, I've never really tried to go for a dewy look because that's me naturally. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with this foundation for a drugstore foundation that is luminous on my oily skin. It actually did last pretty well. I just would definitely have to keep on like touching up with a blotting sheet. It still looks pretty good, you know? I was I did not have high hopes for this foundation. I say give it a go. If you're someone who does want that really like really dewy look, um, if you have wrinkles, if you have drier skin, I think you're gonna like this foundation. I absolutely love the packaging. Um just don't bite if you're oily or acne prone. But overall, I'm, I was actually pretty impressed with it. I definitely thought it was gonna be worse than it was. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Please share if you did uh, if you did find it helpful and you know someone who is interested with this foundation. You can subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, thank you guys so much for watching.